Hello there, guys. You join me now for my with my minish cat. Oh, look at him. So yeah, you join me now with this um, minish cat on my head for <laughs> the next tag video, which is gonna be my gaming tag video. Um, as with all my other tag videos, I'm gonna read the questions from the iPad and I shall answer them straight to you guys as I read them. So let's get on with it. So the first question is, what is your all-time favourite video game? Um, well. People who know me again, it's self-explanatory Legend of Zelda, and if I had to pinpoint it, I'd say Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. It'd be very hard to choose between the two. Main Ocarina of Time mainly because it was basically my childhood, and Majora's Mask is very big because I love the darkness of it and how it completely twists Zelda. It's to this day, I think it's the darkest game, and it's awesome. Um, what is your current video favourite video game? Um, either Minecraft, which I'm playing a lot of, um, or Minecraft's a bit hit and miss because I have periods where I'll play the hell out of it, and then I'll leave, but then I'll go for like three or four months and I won't touch it. But then I'll suddenly get interested again, and then I'll start it again. Um, I like the Hitman series. I'm playing that. I think it's um, Contract at the moment I'm playing. So yeah, that sort of thing. What is your favourite video game genre? Um, some kind of action adventure, Zelda y food dungeons, and that sort of thing, I suppose. Whatever it is, that would be action adventure, is it? I just can't, you can't beat a platform, although, like um, Crash Bandicoot or something like that, that's pretty, I don't know, you know, very frustrating because you, you'll get very pissed off at it. So, I can remember many, many of the days I'd be getting annoyed at my PlayStation playing Crash Bandicoot, but. Good fun. Let's, let's see, get more games out like that than they used to be. Um, what have we got next? What was the first video game you ever played? Oh no, sorry, I missed one. How long have you been playing video games? Um, pretty much all my life. I suppose first, I can actually answer both of those questions in one, really. Because the first video game I ever played, I think, I can remember playing, would have been... Super Mario Brothers on the SNES, the yeah, SNES, the um, one where you could get the raccoon thing and you could fly. Um, I remember playing that because my brother had a um, had one of those con SNES, and I basically like be the annoying little brother and press buttons and shit and make him lose. Um, but I do I wasn't technically playing; I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But I remember holding the controller and trying to play it. Um, first game I actually remember in depth, really, really excited to be playing, was GoldenEye on the N64. Um, it had literally just come out and it was a massive thing. So that was that. Uh, what games have you clocked the most hours into? Possible, that one I would say, would be... Zelda franchise, definitely. But if I had to single one out, I would say Ocarina of Time, maybe? Because I've completed that in excess of 40 times. Yeah, so I'd say that. Um, what game? No, I've done that one. What was your longest gaming session? Um, I don't really have long gaming sessions. Um, I suppose when I used to play Call of Duty online, I would sit on there for you know six hours and just in a straight waste my day away. So I suppose that's kind of what it was. But you didn't really notice the time going when you're playing games like that, because it's like, you know, 15 minutes to a game, and you just want to get the next one out, the next one out, the next one out, and, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to take this minish cap off my head, because it's actually really uncomfortable. So, it's actually an official minish cap, for those who are interested. You can buy these. Um, this, there you go. I bought it, um, actually I bought it at a car boot sale for like £5, so, but it's in a, you know, mint condition, so I like it. It's, he kind of sits over my bed, but yeah, go back to the back to the um, pad. Who's your favourite game developer? Um, Nintendo is awesome, but at the same time, they're very family friendly, aren't they? So, like Capcom is good for like they're much for Resident Evil and things. So yeah, Capcom or well, or um, Nintendo probably just find that one. Who's your favourite hero from video game? Um, I'm not going to say Link, which is what you guys probably think, because I think there's better ones. I like Leon Kennedy out of the Resident Evil series. 
Um, oh, with me. Um, so yeah, he's kind of a hero, isn't he? He does say some stupid shit, but that's not his fault, that's the programmer's. So yeah, it's, as, it's somebody I'd spend the day with, I think he'd be pretty sweet to hang out with. Who's your favourite villain? Um, favourite villain? I would say... Oh my god, I'm thinking about this one. This one's actually quite hard. Um, Ganon's pretty awesome as Zelda. Well, only because he just doesn't die, he comes back in the next game every time. Um, yeah, I was gonna say Ganon because there's always gonna be here for everyone, I think. Or Ganondorf, or whatever the fuck you wanna call him. Uh, what's your most hated character of any video game? Navi the Fairy, he's fucking annoying, as you guys know, with the this Listen, and the watch this. Out. Um, who else is annoying? Oh, that fucking um, mole in Animal Crossing, you guys know what I mean, Rossetti. That thing needs to be burnt, that thing. You need to put a mole catcher in and kill that bloody thing. That was the most annoying thing in the whole game. I used to play Animal Crossing with one of my exes because it's a girly game. Well, not a girly game, but it's deemed a girly game. And I got put into it and really liked it, so I had my own village. And um, the times I'd turn it off and forget to save it or something, and that little bloody mole would pop up. Oh, don't even go there. Um, yeah, he's probably my favourite villain, actually, because he's... Oh, I hate him. If he's a villain, but yeah. What gaming systems do you currently own? I have got a Nintendo Wii, a Nintendo DS XL, I've got a PC, I've got a Xbox 360, um, and that's it at the minute. Yeah, that's it. What was your first gaming system? My first gaming system that I actually owned was an N64, but as I said previously, in the household the first one we had was a SNES or a NES, one of the two. Um, next question. What is your favourite gaming system and why? Um, I'd have to say... I'm torn between two, because the Xbox 360 has been amazing, the new one obviously, the Slim. Um, I haven't experienced any of the fourth gen consoles because I haven't had the money, but I've heard they're brilliant. So, you know, the Xbox One, the PS4. Um, Xbox 360 has been brilliant because it's just brilliant. I can't complain about it. It, it doesn't get, well, it does get hot actually, but not noisily hot like the old PS3s used to. Um, but for pure nostalgic value, if I could have any console that I, you know, only allowed one, one the rest of my life, I'd probably get the N64 again. Yeah, it's some awesome games on it, for the, you know, at the time. Um, I'd get, you know, you had Zelda, obviously, the Queen of Time, you had Majora's Mask, you had Donkey Kong 64, GoldenEye, uh, Lilac Wars, um, or Star Fox 64, whichever one it was called in your country. You know, there's these massive titles that came out on, on it, and such a limited, you know, limited console. If you actually broke one of them down, this is my geeky side, and un, you know, completely took it apart. There's absolutely bugger all in there, it's such a, it's just one circuit board, there's nothing to it. I've taken the Xbox 360s apart in the past to repair them, and there's so many bits here and there that it's such a complex system. But the N64, for, you know, for what it could produce, it was very, lim very minimal. That's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, definitely for N N64. I don't really like N64 controllers now, but I think that's just because I'm now used to the double analog sticks. But back in the day, you didn't notice it and you loved it. But I find it awkward now. But that's in retrospect. Um, do you prefer to play guy characters or girl characters? I don't really care. Whatever. I suppose Pokemon. If any, thing I can think of. Um, guys or girls? Again, I'm not really bothered. I just not like it makes any difference to the game, so um, yeah. I don't like playing as girl characters in games like Resident Evil and things where they're made to be deliberately under. Um, you know, the men are always the best ones and the toughest characters, and they can take more damage and all this. Um, I don't really like that because you know there's just shit in it. There's 
why would you want to play as an under underpowered character? It's pointless. Um, unless you want more challenge, I suppose, but it's kind of difficult, yeah. You can play as a normal one. Do you follow walkthroughs or do you play on your own? It depends on the game. If I I try my best to play it on my own, but if I get really, really stuck and frustrated, then I will fall back onto walkthroughs. Um, the only other thing I'll use walkthroughs for is if I'm trying to do a 100% completion guide or if I'm trying to, like, with like GTA for example, where you're trying to find 100 hidden packages or this or that, I did use, use walkthrough guides for that. Um, so that was that one, yeah. So, sort of. What? Um, have you ever been to any gaming conventions? No, I haven't been to any gaming conventions, but I'd absolutely love to. I'd love to do Minecon. I think that'd be awesome. Um, but I couldn't do with all the little kids. Um, I just couldn't deal with screaming kids, so I can't stand that. Nothing against you guys out there, especially if you're a small screaming kid, but yeah. That's the worst thing about Xbox Live, actually, if you're online, you have the screaming kids who think that they're hard because they're playing Call of Duty. No, you're not. You're 12. Get a life and go outside and play. Um, best memories of a video game. Uh, best memories of a video game would be... Actually, the best memory I've got of a video game is a Zelda-related one, but it's Twilight Princess. When the Nintendo Wii first came out, um, and they, you know, were doing all the press for it, I bought that console purely on the basis of the hype and me wanting to get the next Zelda, um, because it looked so amazing compared... We had Wind Waker, and then they went to this massive change of really high def... Death graph there, high death graphics, and I ended up spending I think it was around nearly five hundred pounds to pre-order that console. I spent a lot of money on that. I it, it's now we pick up a Nintendo Wii now for about forty pounds if you you know. And, but this was before they told me I knew that it was going to be coming out on GameCube, so I didn't bother to wait for the GameCube version. I went in full stack and bought Nintendo Wii for a stupid amount of money with this new Zelda game, and yeah, that's probably the last time I was excited, most excited. Um, I'm quite excited about this new Nintendo um, Zelda game, the, the something of winds, I can't remember what it's called, Breath of Winds. Um, you know, I'll give it a go, I didn't really like this, I haven't played Skyward Sword but purely because I didn't like the artwork style, but, and I haven't got, I haven't got it really, so. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm go I want to get hold of a Nintendo Wii U and try the, um, you know, the HD remakes and do some, maybe some videos on them. But we'll see if that happens. Just if it's money at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get hold of these consoles. Uh, what's your worst memory of a video game? My worst memory of a video game would have to be. Where you finish a game and you're really into it in general. Because you're like. Damn, it's over. What now? I can think so many games I've been in that situation. Um, obviously the Zelda franchise immediately comes to mind. And then there's Borderlands 2. I love that storyline in that game. Well, Borderlands 1 and 2. Uh, and then it's ended. And then everything was done. Obviously you've got replay value on that game, so that's not quite as bad. But when the storyline finishes and you've been really into it, any game really, Call of Duty is the same. You just everything just ends, um, so many really, actually it's hard to list, but I, I don't, I get really immersed into my games and when it's a really good storyline, Resident Evil again is another one, um, Resident Evil and, and Call of Duty etc where their franchises are kind of similar, are kind of different because they carry on, you so you just have to wait for the next one, whereas Zelda is technically linked but you wouldn't realise Unless you did the High Wall Hysteria book. But yeah. Um, two, last, two more questions, guys. So the next one is What games are you most excited about to try in the future? Well, I've pretty much said that already. The Breath of Winds, the new Zelda. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Uh, I don't really know anymore because I'm not too in with it. I just play Minecraft and games that are cheap because it's fun. Uh, which video game character do you see yourself as? And if you could be represented by a video game character in a game, who would it be? So basically that's the same question, isn't it? 
Um, I would say I am. I'd love to say I'm like Link, but I'm nowhere near brave enough. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of it. That I'm a pansy. I couldn't. I wouldn't stand up to the stuff he does. Um, if like. You know, even if one of those giant sculpture spiders came in, I'd fucking leg it, mate. I wouldn't be near it. So, yeah, I'd like to say Link, but truthfully, I'm not that brave. So, truthfully, I'd say probably like Yoshi, because I'm quite fun, or Yoshi, or whatever you call it in your country. I'm quite fun to be around, I think, and a bit of a prat, really, and quite childish, as I said. So oh, yeah, I'd say Yoshi. And there was it, guys. That was the 21 questions of the game attack. So cheers for watching. Um, thanks for spending this past 15-ish, 20 minutes with me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's any tags or any videos at all you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I will do my best to fulfil that wish. I am a genie. Um... But yeah, so cheers for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't also, if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you all in the next video.